Okay, Magnus Rune here. Um, I had someone asking me on um, Discord about um, how my whole thing works. So this here is where my my full level stacks are coming down from this. So it's all four levels for the shape. Comes into these belt readers here, which are outputting the last shape that they saw and so for instance this one is outputting that it's going into there and this one's also going in there if they match it sends out one which then also allows this one to go on and so on and so forth such that if all four of them match this one will send out a the shape i then have this line coming in from here which is directly from the hub and if that matches, which at the moment you can see it does not, uh, once it matches, this then becomes a one, which then starts this counter, which lasts on my speed. Here we go. We can see this change here as these all go up. There we go. That's now one. This is now going to be counting. It has this, I don't really need this, but this is like a nice visual way to see it is. And once all of these, well, once the final light has got to the end here, this will change to a one, which will change to a zero, which will change back to a one. Actually, I don't know why I still have these. I think that's from um, before, which will change this to a one, which should just be a few seconds more, um, which will then open these gates and send them on. These ones here are set to the level shape and if it is the right shape coming through it will let it on which it's trying to do right now but because this is a zero it can't let it on it's about to change to a one which will allow it to go vomp which should then allow enough to come through for it to complete the level once the level is completed and obviously this one changes these then will bin the rest of the items as you can see it's doing now um, I then have this here splitting the shape out into its four levels and also keeping the main shape coming up which comes up here to these filters and I mean I can get rid of some of this design um, to be honest all of this here in the middle um, no I'm keeping this I remember now why um, so this line here so this one, this one, this one, and this one are looking for this particular half shape. Um, if they get that half shape, they will try and send it on. Once the level up changes, and obviously it's a different one, it will then bin it, which will then empty out all the stuff in storage. Of course, as you can see, you get the odd one that gets stuck, but for the most part, this is now clean. I've then got all of these, so um, levels 1 is built here, which combines with level 2 to make level 1 and 2, which then combines with level 3 and 4, and so on and so forth. And as you can see here, I've got um, this coming up, for instance, to here, with an entire level of this shape. And this is looking for those, so if it gets the right correct shape going through, if it's only a half level on that shape and um, obviously this one won't match and so it will start binning but there'll be nothing to combine so there should be nothing to bin um, this one then is looking for one half and if it's correct we'll send it through if it's not it'll bin and um, this uh, oh, where is it uh, yeah so that's looking for the right half and this is looking for the left half which um, even if there's up to two empty on that level it will let it through that then goes up and is cut in half. The full shape is cut in half into two. One half goes here and does the same thing. If it's the correct shape, it goes through. If for whatever reason it's only a quarter part of a level, it goes through and sends it up to um, the um, ooh, bit of lag there. Sends it up to this, which is storing all the empty shapes and colours. It will then let through the right ones, get them painted, sends them down here, 
only lets through, in this case, purple stars, which then get cut and, as you can see, all get rotated to be the right way for that particular level. So this one is looking for that, as you can see, this is looking for that, and this is looking for that. Now you may have noticed, as I was going up there, this craziness. So I've got two lines here. I've got this line and this line. Um, this line is being, at the moment, powered by this one, um, which, if I follow it back down all the way, comes from here, where I've got a bunch of belt readers again, like at the hub, that compare the shape that's coming out and so on and so forth, um, which sends it to here. And if this and this match, it sends on a one. And again, if this and this match, um, it will send on a one from here, which will then become a one here. So basically that's telling my machine that the shapes required for the current level have already made it to at least this far, which means it can be turned off because otherwise it would still be going. And if I pop back to the hub, you can see they are, yep, yeah, they're still filling up here just before the hub. Um, and for, as you can see, that's pretty much how perfect my machine is, that there's almost no excess. So I do actually need to tweak the timing, because I think as the levels go up, I'm going to need more time. Um, so that's the one I was just showing you here. And I've got a second one here, which again compares the shape that's coming up to the shape that is actually for the level. And if it's a match, sends a one, which gets combined, oh, got some uselessness there, which goes up here, um, gets turned from a one to a zero. If there's a zero coming here, as you can see, this is asking for a full gray square to come down. And as you can see, currently it can't go past this gate or this gate. Now, as you can see, it's just changed to be a yellow star which obviously, if we come down here, this is last seen gray squares and all of them, which does not match yellow um, star piece. But once they all do match, if we just follow it, here we go, this one is now matched, which turns that to a one, which then further up the chain, turns off the input, lets it carry on painting um, and cutting whatever was already in the system because I don't kill off these filters um, and yeah that's basically it um, I did initially have um, these filters um, down here but I found that the amount that it was letting through was just way too much but I think as I said as the levels go up I'm going to have to delete this here and put it here and here um, you may think, why am I checking four of them? That's because I was initially only checking this one. And then I was like, hmm, what if that particular quadrant's empty? It will never match, so it will never be able to turn itself off and it'd be a waste. So I set up a second one and then I was like, oh no, you can have up to two empty bits on the level. So I set up um, all four just to be safe. Because what if um, this is the empty, what if... Anyway, um, so I set up all four to check it. Um, and this is my machine. Color inputs isn't very large. As you can see, I have some green going directly in, some blue, da 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 da. And at the moment, practically nothing's being used. Um, if we wait a few seconds for this level to be completed, um, let's see, how much longer do you have? Uh, only a few seconds. Let's go back up to colour. Um, so once the new level comes in, which should only take a few more seconds, you'll see these start going through as the wires coming up to here, which at the moment have been turned off, so there's no signal coming up. Um, but the moment that the this changes to another thing, it will obviously be asking for a different shape and a different colour. Um, oh, and this time around it happens to be asking for exactly the same. That is odd that that does happen sometimes, but it then fills up the blue, or the cyan, sorry, at the circles. Um, I do then, as you can see, have this other wire coming down, 
which is set up here and here. So let's say the next one here is purple. Instead of it having to paint all the shapes in purple, which will then just get binned here, it um, bins all the cyan paint that's no longer needed. I suppose I could do something more efficient that would recycle it all back up into the colours, but um, as you can see, I'm I've actually got basically no problem with those. The shapes, on the other hand, because I'm using two shapes per colour, um, as you can see, they are hurting a bit. I got steady squares and bizarrely windmills, and it's actually only stars and circles that I really need to increase the output of. Which, as you can see, I'm barely using this area here, so I could easily double that, which would double the income. Um, one issue I did find is if the stars happen to get um, backed up, um, which backs up this, which would then back up all of that, the circles then stop. So I had to do that. But yeah, um, this is my Make Anything machine. Um, as you can see, I still need to make everything tunnels. I've got way too many belts that will be killing my uh, FPS. Uh, oh gosh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted F4. I mean, I'm getting what? Yeah. 20 FPS, it's not great, but um, it's it's all right. Um, yeah, I've got extra filters here that will dump this shape if it's the wrong one. Cause basically, I don't want to end up with like say I think there's about four or five thousand on these belts here combined. I don't want four or five thousand to end up in the hub. I only want the minimal amount that's actually required for this level um this is my blueprint factory which is pretty simple um it paints the blue bit the right shape because i've managed to find a thing i mean it requires rotating them but meh, whatever um and then i've got a white maker here which comes into this to make white circles you may think well oh, why are your white circles twice as big as your blue bits well that's because this half um, here, um, oh, let me get change to that view. This half here is actually feeding my rocket ships because um, they need full circles as well. Um, at the moment, you might have noticed when I was at the hub, um, blueprints are actually turned off at the moment because I don't need them. I've got just shy of a million and my base is done um yeah um i do want to have a little thanks to shadow on the discord for this this is his design that i've used um you can quite easily if i just oop, take uh, like that and move uh, yeah that will do for now so what you can do is if you want a shorter timer, you can literally just go boom. Um, get rid of those. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of all of them. And if I then hook this up here, that's now a shorter timer. Or if I wish, I can do that and put you there, which won't work actually in this case. Wow. Uh, let's put you there and whoop, whoop, and uh, tab, tab. So that's now a longer time, it will take even longer to go through. Um, so, yeah, this is my filter hub, and as you can see, and while I've been talking to you, I've gone up, I think, six levels in 15 minutes. Um, thanks.